Okay, to record my iPod, recorded it with the iPhone, imported in here. So we create a new project. You must make sure you set it to the iPhone. You've got the right ratio of three to two. Once you've got that set and the project, the current one you're working in, you need to have access to the movie that was on your iPhone. So in here, I've chosen iPhoto video, which I've synced the phone with this iPhoto. And there I can choose one of the videos that I've put in. Unfortunately, because of my setup, I had the iPhone balanced on some books and a piece of cardboard, took over the other iPod, comes out upside down. But that's not a problem. Come into video uh, cropping and rotation. We just need to rotate it around 90 degrees. Don't rotate it so it's all the way around, just rotate it to it's 90 degrees. So just one click from here, and that's fine. It becomes important because the aspect ratio is 3 to 2, so when I crop it, it's now going to crop in the right aspect ratio. So it shows me the green frame, the aspect ratio, I can't change the shape, I can change the size. So bring it in, you've got just the visible part, not the border. I guess you could if you wanted to use the rest of it. Mine was on a black background. It was hard to pick out the iPod from the black background. So I just want the actual screen of it there. Cropped it in. There we go. And that's all done. So I can share and export the movie. I export it out as the large size. Not really needed. But it gives me that extra resolution if I want to show it on a large projectile something like that and expand it out. Now, we could always, of course, I've just taken the entire shooting from this scene. I could do the normal iPhoto things, edit the photos in here, get rid of the bits and pieces I don't want, but I've just done the whole thing here. Finish with iPhoto, so I can quit that. So what do I do now? Just check the movie. Here it is here on my desktop. Seems to work okay. Wasn't the best, a bit shiny, there we go. So it's showing what's going on, so that's good. Movie works, I'm happy with that. I want to put it into a keynote. So I'll create a new keynote, well I won't create a new keynote. I'll open keynote that I made before. In this particular keynote, because I knew I was going to be using the iPod a lot, if you look at the top there under the master slides, I've got an iPod master slide, and this one's based on the iPod master slide. You can see I can't move the actual picture of the iPod because it's on the actual slide master. Just makes it easier than having to place the image there the whole time. But so I want to put a video on there. Well, I change this one. I'll duplicate the slide. Now the duplicate, I can delete that video that's there. You can see there's a picture that's behind the little iPod. Don't worry about that. That's all I need to do is find my video, plug it in. Once again, it's the wrong way around, doesn't matter, Keynote can deal with that. So slide inspector, or the um, inspector, choose the measurement, and change the angle to 90. Uh, got that wrong, it's not 90, because that's upside down. The actual angle we needed to be 270. So we change that. It's too big, so let's use the handles to reduce the size, keep the aspect ratio correct. I'm doing nothing more than just what looks good here. Drag it to about the right sort of size. Because I've centered it, I can use the guidelines. That's done. Press play. And there's my keynote with a nice picture of an iPod and the video inlaid onto it. It's as simple as that. Thank you.